Manitou's reverse arch is a patented feature found on all of our conventional suspension forks. Reverse arch not only sets Manitou apart from the rest, but it incorporates several unique advantages which we'll get into. First, we'll address some of the common misconceptions. Reverse arch does not affect frame clearance. Clearance between a frame's down tube and the fork is determined by two factors. One, the fork crown pitch, and two, adjuster knob height when the fork is turned 90 degrees. When looking at the fork turned 90 degrees, this is the worst scenario for frame clearance. You'll see it's the height of the adjuster knobs that determine the fork and frame clearance, not our reverse arch. This is not unique to Manitou forks. Here, we show our fork fully compressed. Manitou designs the reverse arch to remain within a specific package envelope. For example, you can see that our reverse arch does not travel beyond the crown race surface. Reverse arch has no possibility to contact or interfere with the frame. Reverse arch does not affect ride height and provides the same ride height opportunity as a forward arch. A suspension fork's ride height is determined by three factors. One, the maximum tire that we design for any given fork model. Two, the clearance between the tire and crown at full bottom out. And three, the crown thickness. Crown thickness is defined as the distance from the crown race to the bottom of the crown surface. As you can see here, ride height, also referred to as crown to axle, is decided by these three components alone. The location of the arch is not a factor and does not affect ride height. Reverse arch allows for identical tire clearance as a forward facing arch. As we are designing any of our forks, one of the project requirements is to determine the largest intended tire size. Once this is determined, we then design our reverse arch around this largest intended tire size. As we design the reverse arch, we take into account things like tire abnormalities, brand sizing deviation, and wheel failure situations. This dictates how much clearance is needed. Simply put, our reverse arch allows for the same amount of clearance as a forward facing arch. Now, let's get into some of the advantages of Manitou's reverse arch. There are three. One, reverse arch has the equivalent stiffness with less weight. Two, reverse arch shields our seals from debris. And three, reverse arch allows for the cleanest and most protected brake hose routing. To best describe this, we'll start with some geometry. Here we have a circle with its center called out. Now, note at the distance from the center to the outer edge of the circle. Now, if we move away from the center, We'll look at this distance again. You'll note that this distance to the outer edge of the circle is shorter. Now let's apply the same approach to why Manitou uses our reverse arch. The center of the circle represents the axle. Obviously, the axle is not on the center of the fork, it's offset. If you note the distance from the axle to the outside of the tire, this represents a forward facing arch location. Now, we'll move away from the center and look at this distance again. You'll note that this distance to the outer edge of the tire is shorter. By placing our arch in the rear, behind the highest point of the tire, Manitou's reverse arch design achieves equivalent stiffness with less weight. Reverse arch is shorter in height, resulting in a more efficient use of material. Reverse arch shields the seals from debris. On a traditional style fork, the arch creates a pocket, which catches and traps contamination. Manitou's reverse arch is the first line of defense and acts as a physical barrier protecting the fork seals. Reverse arch provides a natural barrier blocking trail debris and contamination. Any mud, sand, or water that's thrown from the tire is shielded from the seals by the reverse arch. A cleaner fork performs better. Reverse arch allows for the cleanest and most protected brake hose routing. In a forward facing arch, the brake hose is either exposed and rubbing on the outside of the fork leg or rubbing inboard exposed to the wheel. From there, the brake hose makes an upward non-symmetrical loop. Manitou's reverse arch allows you to route the brake hose from the caliper along the rear of the fork leg 
and loop behind the arch and the crown. Be sure not to route it between the arch and the crown. The hose is protected from impact or snagging and is secured on the back of the leg. The brake hose is not rubbing on the casting, the crown, or the frame. The brake hose routing is extremely compact and neat all the way up to the front brake. It's very symmetrical to the other hose in the cable. Feel free to reference our technology section at manitoumtb.com for this and other Manitou information. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about Manitou and our reverse arch design.